Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls, mostly. Oh, sure. They make Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? That's Bertie Holcomb, only one of the greatest Tosswell hackers ever. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. Well, Holcomb's had a lot of nicknames over his career. Used to be the tallywhacker on account of what he'd do to the score. Before that, he was the slick stick, because his shots were always so smooth. I swear I'm not. At the start of his career, people called him the hack boss, but no one thought that was very catchy. I couldn't really say I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her.
laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Days of consumption and culture. When we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drink's on me, stranger. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and tell it them myself. Now what can I do for you? against regulate what do you think you're doing i'll look the other way this time 